Welcome to my channel. You've got me in stitches. I'm Anna, and this is a fabric haul. Well, as I for most of you know that last month I went to two places: one in Birmingham, NEC, and also in London. And it was for sewing for pleasure and the Stitch Festival. And yeah, I've managed to actually meet up with quite a few familiar faces and met a couple of them for the very first time ever, even though I have been following them for a little while and or a little bit longer than a little while because not everybody's YouTube channel is as old or as new, you know what I mean. Okay everybody, so this is going to be a combination of both the shows and the fabrics that I got from both those shows. So grab a cup of something, buckle up, and let us see what I picked up. Cheers. Well, right, so just going to tease you a little bit and make you wait just a little bit longer to show you the fabrics. Just to refresh your memory. So the sign for pleasure at the NEC Birmingham. If some of you guys may have already seen the video, in Crafty So and So, we're doing a catwalk, and some of us were showcasing our gowns that we wore at the Dressmakers Ball last October. And I was very lucky; had about a day or two to kind of get everything ready and sort it out and arranged. And yeah, a friend took me up, and yeah, I managed to get me a space along with the other wonderful ladies on the Crafty So and So catwalk and I showed my dress and if there is a picture or two available, insert here. And also I was lucky enough to do the kit walk again and this was at the London show and it was for the sewing company, pattern design company, Sew Me Something and most of you guys are familiar with Jules and her company and this is a little bit easier to hold up. It is a whole bunch lighter than my <laughs> dressmaker's ball dress and this fabric I also got from Sew Me Something this beautiful eyelet fabric and this is what I wore on the catwalk for them it is the Angelica dress again insert photo so you guys can see me wearing this as opposed to just me holding it up here also my lovely friend Jan who is a pink door lady zoom and obviously fabric purchaser and for those of you who do not know what that is and may be not following me, sometimes I put little excerpts in of the little Zoom course that we have, which is organised by Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door. Anyhow, Jen and I obviously had met a couple times, along with our other friend Adele, who is also a Pink Door lady, Zoom and fabric purchaser. And Jen very kindly... Said, she messaged me and said about some fabric that she had and it's this beautiful again eyelet fabric kind of two kind of greens going on there and she gave me this and I think there is about three possibly four yards here and yeah again insert a photo so you can take a closer look at the design in print So again, Jen, thank you so, so much for this fabric and yeah, I have a few ideas for it and yeah, watch this space. 
I also want to show these two business cards. The reason why is because also on the catwalk was Captain Jack Sparrow. Okay, not the real Johnny Depp Captain <laughs> Jack Sparrow. Kind of an imposter. But a really good, really fantastic. And the clothes. Obviously it's all the cosplay and everything. This little this lady, she's Polish and absolutely incredible work. She is on Instagram and I believe if she does have a YouTube channel, that will also be in the show notes below. But yeah, design crazy lady. If I come in just a little bit closer there and uh, Agnes Agatha Agnes. There's kind of two ways of pronouncing. I just wanted to give her a separate shout out because yeah we had a wonderful conversation about all sorts of things and she also helped me out for a separate thing that I asked her for so why not give somebody a shout out it costs nothing and it's really really kind and thoughtful well no, these fabrics and everything that I'm going to show you are not going to be in kind of a regular order I know it actually hurts my brain not to do that because my brain kind of likes to do everything in order I am just going to show you the fabrics from both of the shows just quickly before I do I know I know I am just going to be really really medical quick we were given an exhibitor card so obviously I got into the show because obviously being on the kit walk and although I was not exactly exhibiting like in a stand, I guess I'm exhibiting myself, so a bit of tongue in cheek there. Also, you get the little Stitch Festival little book program thing there. And you also get a little bag there. And it's just regular plane on the back so yeah a little tote bag oh and it also has the rainbow colors yeah yeah that's all pretty cool so here we go <laughs> fabric okay now this fabric I purchased at a store not entirely sure of the name of the store because I was talking to two wonderful ladies and one of them, her name is Donna, and she does watch my channel, and she was just kind of looking at me, you know, when you kind of notice when someone sort of looks, and it's like, mm, okay, <laughs> and yeah, she's a very sweet lady, and she says, oh, I follow you on your channel, so Donna, if you're watching, you are absolutely incredible, and uh, both you ladies are, so anyway, this is the fabric that I purchased, no guesses for why I did, look at that beautiful print there with these beautiful birds and the color is absolutely wonderful it is a cotton poplin and i picked me up i think it's one and a half yards beautifully soft kind of a mid-weight and i'm thinking probably a shirt or a skirt or a dress these two next fabrics are from Direct Fabric Warehouse. There's a little card there. And there. And this is very lightweight fabric. And again, no guesses <laughs> as to why I purchased that. Very, very drapey and fluid. And I picked up one and a half yards. And look, look how beautiful and stunning that is. Really, really floaty. And again, that would look really lovely in a floaty skirt, blouse or dress. I also picked up, now this is very rigid fabric and fell in love because it has animals on. And this is more for around the home. And we have a cheetah. I know some people get a little bit mixed up. Cheetahs are identified by their little black teardrops and teardrops, tear lines coming down from their eyes and also their spots. Jaguars and leopards do not have spots like this. They have more rosettes and you can differentiate between the difference because 
One has the spots kind of in the rosette, whilst the other does not. Anyhow, then we have birds. You can see there, really, really beautiful cockatoo there. So again, on this, I am thinking cushions. Alright well, guys, <laughs> do not laugh. I thought I would actually do a little drawing there. So yeah, you can see the difference between the leopard and the jaguar with their rosettes. There are no spots inside the rosettes for the leopard. There you go guys. <laughs> Why not just show you the difference? Then you kind of had a visual. So you get absolutely everything on this channel, you know guys. Okay, so next up we have Stitch Fabrics, also known as M. Rosenberg and Son. My friend noticed this fabric and not entirely sure of the content besides it is a cotton. Let me just see if it actually says anything on here. Pura Castane Tastuiri Alta Moda. Okay, Italy. <laughs> I completely stuffed that up, no doubt. And look, it is a beautiful blue colourway. And it has these really, really lovely little animals on. And some flowers. And again, this is kind of a light to mid-weight. And again, like I said, probably a dress or a skirt or a shirt, anything like that. Or I was thinking maybe a jumpsuit. However, I do not really have enough unless I play around and do cropped pants in a jumpsuit because I would never wear shorts. You, no, 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 no. No. You would never <laughs> likely to see that. It, it's too scary. So yeah, that's what I picked up from those guys and I've gone to their stand quite a lot so I know them pretty well. So obviously we have a bit of a conversation piece going on. Okay. Next up we have, okay I have that bag and it is called, there we go, Thimbles, Fabrics and Crafts. So, first of all I picked up two fabrics. Yes, I know guys, I know. And this is a midweight cotton fabric picked up one and a half yards yep yeah, delectably perfect possum and I just, it was just a fun fabric and again it could be clothing it may even become something for around the home who knows then I picked up this fabric here which has quite a bit of weight to it and again the vibrant colours on it and um, not entirely sure if the texture is showing up. I may put a still in for you guys. A couple of little ridges going through it. And again, this will be for something around the home because it is kind of like, I guess, home furnishing fabric. And again, like I said, I went back to their store. Now, I have had this fabric before, and I've not seen it for a whole bunch of time. And although I do have a little bit in my fabric collection, I wanted more of a yardage than what I have. So, I picked me up these bunnies again. Picked up, I believe, two and a half, three yards. So, hopefully, they will not send me hopping mad. And again, this is a mid-weight cotton fabric. And I don't know, it just kind of screams a bit of a vintage vibe going on with this one. Right, right, so I picked me up a little something. So there's a business card there from Purple Stitches. And I picked me up some zipper paws. But these zipper paws are a little bit different. I will put in a still out of the packet so then you guys can see these much better than me just holding them up <sighs> you know what not only purchasing fabric but also showcasing fabric it's hard work it really is hard yakka guys 
and I say it's another really really hot day so yeah coupled with that <laughs> lots of hard yakka okay next up Jenny stitches and I got to meet Jenny and have a photo and for those of you guys that have seen all the shenanigans from the stitch shows in my previous videos then you would have seen those right oh so this is for TE and it is kind of yeah like a space out of galactic theme there with all the stars knit fabric picked me up one and a half yards and the inside is like that plenty of stretch there and definitely know what I am going to make for him and that is shorts because he really likes a knit fabric soft and comfortable more malleable and obviously you know being shorts and because he's like me always hot which I know this sounds really counterintuitive knit fabric in shorts and obviously getting hot and sweaty mm, yeah anyhow it's just more comfortable it is also I picked me up cotton fabric kind of a little bit of a vintage vibe going on there with the ladies and I believe I'm going to make a shirt out of this for me okay so these next three fabrics are from Higgs and Higgs and to be honest because obviously transparency is really important I do not much purchase from Higgs and Higgs because sometimes they can be out of my price range because I am on a very tight budget and cannot afford <laughs> very much in these coins to be a little bit at the higher end price wise however sometimes you can find some fabrics that are just kind of enough in the price range and also it depends how much fabric quantity that you get so I picked up one and a half yards of this beautiful it's almost like pea green I guess fabric and for those of you that know me I gotta have me a gingham I really cannot help it yes and I'm looking at two main costs I will link main costs channel below because like me she also likes gingham as well and she looks absolutely awesome not just in gingham in absolutely everything she makes so chic so beautiful and she's a wonderful lady anyway so if you do not already follow main course please go over and check her videos out so yeah I saw this colorway and I thought yeah definitely then oh that's a 100% cotton and it's a mid-weight fabric then I picked me up this one and this one's quite rigid even though it's a mid-weight fabric beautiful colors little birds fruit leaves in there and because it is quite rigid I may do my little trick and see if it can be softened some with a little bit of baking soda buttercup soda whichever you want to call it club soda if it still re retains its rigidity then possibly a skirt however then I'm thinking I would have to kind of pick the colors out of the fabric here to wear on the top if I was going to wear a skirt or make a skirt out of this and also equally if this was going to be the top I would have to find something pretty similar however you can get away with just regular black pants or navy jeans even if you had this on the top and then another midweight 100% cotton fabric look it's so cute more little kitties and it is in a mint colorway in the background there really really like that fabric and again it has structure to it so I'm guessing either a skirt or a shirt or even I mean on some of these kind of more rigid fabrics even if you want to play around and have something really fun even a jacket kind of like the biker star jacket or 
some, you know, the saliva it. Is it the Sorrento jacket? You know, that kind of denim look, but instead of in denim, obviously a fun print. Another fabric in this darker kind of teal blue colorway, and this is another knit and it's going to be another pair of shorts for TE and inside is so super soft look at that and he likes to wear things like this all year round very very rare that you ever find him in long pants and I think the rare time that has happened it's because there has to be some sort of formal thing that we had to perhaps go to but for the majority of the time all the time <laughs> is always in shorts and why not go for something really soft and really comfortable so and this is kind of a mid-weight fabric and if you can see little particles obviously this is the little fuzzy fibers coming from some of these fabrics Righto, fabric wise, this is, yeah, the last two. Both knits, and yeah, I think Adele from Sorry for Serenity may have had an eye on this after I showed her. So, yeah, a little bit of a roaring success. And beautiful blue jungle kind of colourway there with these, look at these little male lions there. And again, just a little top, probably maybe another so over at Audrey. I know, I know. I kind of have to vent you out and do something a little bit more different. But again, if you'd like to put suggestions in the comments below, please do. Same stand, and I'm not entirely sure which stand this one was from because it was kind of just chaotic and I was more looking at the fabrics than anything else. Something's telling me it was Roy's fabrics. Anyhow, last one. Zebras. With a few little leaves going on there. And you know that I really like leaves. Anything kind of nature. And again, one and a half yards. Really, really super soft. Obviously, there it is, the big. Good stretch going on there. Obviously, you would have to be mindful of the stretch because you do not want to stretch it too much and to be fair really who would stretch and wear something that tight so yeah there we go fabric wise that is everything that I picked me up I know something just a little bit different here and I picked me up all these they're all made out of wood all sewing themed mannequin there little bunny and sewing machine some smaller little scissor snips there templates I guess this is what you could call template oh goodness <laughs> button template yes there you go I found the word these are wooden templates go me vintage sewing machine there kind of a treadle we have a little hat with a paw print and little pick of little spools there again I will insert a still so you can kind of see these all displayed and have a closer look And I picked me up three sewing patterns and this was from Vicky Sews. Absolutely stunning. Really, really love these. Obviously the <laughs> patterns are absolutely stunning and <laughs> the models on me that's a completely different no, for more vomit than anything else. Now this kind of reminds me of the milkmaid dress. Like it is a milkmaid style. What's the lady's name? The creator Lydia Naomi, and she kind of had something very similar. Anyhow, this is the one that I picked me up. It is so beautiful. I really, really like that style. 
thick. I believe they've made that out of a linen and I have quite a lot of linen. This would be made out of knit. This is the Eliza. Really like that detail there. And now this is a very high contender for when I go to the dressmakers ball again this year. This was just absolutely incredible. Now I know I cannot pull this look off. I mean you really have to be absolutely wonderful and have a wonderful figure and all the rest of it. Anyway this is the Onella. Look at that guys. That is just so beautiful. Exquisite. You can imagine her catching kind of just like gliding along, floating along, looking elegant, decadent and all the rest of it. If I wear that, <laughs> I will not look anything. <laughs> yeah, so it has this beautiful little fishtail going on at the back there. And I may play around and use a contrast fabric for that just to give it a little bit of extra interest. So yeah, these are my three patterns that I picked up from the Vicky Sews stand. Really like those and you do not get the instructions with these. There has like a code thing. I have no idea how these things work. I know it's something to do with the cell phone all beyond me. I do not have a cell phone that connects to these little squares but yeah there's like these little squares I'll cover a little, little bit and you find the instructions and it kind of links it. So I cannot even explain it. You guys will probably understand. Read between the lines guys. Instructions are kind of electronically in the ether of some other excess. Okay two other patterns and this is a brand new company to me and they are called pink curls and somehow they are connected or something to do with the crafty so and so anyhow these ladies walking down the catwalk in these garments out of the two patterns that i'm going to show you obviously there are more but these are the two that drew my eye and they just look so i don't know they're not necessarily a word for it and you know when you look at someone and the clothes that they're wearing it's like yeah i think i could kind of pull that off these are called the Marnie Collops and the ladies that were wearing these, the fabrics that they were using kind of erring on the content of wool. Now I cannot wear too much wool, definitely not 100% of us, it will be itching and scratching it's just like nah, nah. Anyhow, something that's kind of looking woolish without having the itch. I would like to give those pins a go. Equally the same in this top. It's called the Maya Jumper. I would call that a sweater, but hey ho. Jumper is something completely different in my brain. So yeah, look at that. It kind of has that little vintage vibe going on there. Really, really like that. And the models were wearing both these together. Obviously not to the patterns. <laughs> the actual patterns made up in the fabric. So yeah, really happy to give those a go and I have a few fabrics kind of in my collection that may go towards that look. I kind of would like to achieve similarly to what the ladies were wearing on the actual catwalk. However, if not, I may just see a fabric and think, ah, that would work with one or both of these patterns. So yeah, I'm really happy with these two. So yeah, let me know if you have any of these patterns or are they new to you as well? And I had to wait for these because I could not actually pick them at the show directly because they had sold out. So I just had to wait until they were mailed out to me and yeah, the lovely ladies at Crafty so and so obviously took the details and approximately about a week 10 days later obviously because they were out of stock that is how popular these patterns were so yeah but now I have these two well then guys that is it for me today let me know if you went to any of those sewing stitch festival shows and what did you pick up and did you also go on the catwalk as well 
Well, there guys, please consider giving me a thumbs up and maybe possibly subscribing because it does help. And have a wonderful week, weekend, evening, day, morning, wherever you are in the world. Happy sewing, everybody. All right, next up, get a little card here from Purple Stitches. And I pick up some little charms and they have little kits on and well, actually no, no they're not charms. Why did I say charms? <coughs> oh all the fuzzies have gone up my nose. Oh fabric fuzzies. <laughs> 